AVC stands for Autonomous Vehicle Competition. This is SparkFun's annual event where we host students, makers, hackers, mad scientists of all kinds to come and navigate a robotic vehicle around a closed course at SparkFun headquarters without any human intervention. This year, the AVC is going to consist of four categories. Combat bots, the Power Racing Series, the Autonomous Power Racing Series, and of course, our classic ground course. This video is specifically for the classic AVC ground course. Track width is 10 feet wide, and the barrier material is going to be hay bales, one level tall. From the start line, there's a straightaway 120 feet in length to the first corner, which is a right corner. From there, you go straight another 45 feet to the second corner, which is another right turn. From the second turn, you will find a 58 foot length of straightaway with four barrels as obstacles. You can hit them, you can avoid them, whatever you wanna do, they're gonna be in front of you. There is a shortcut to get to that intersection, but it involves an off-road component. A sharp 45 degree back turn on that initial straightaway will take you onto a seven and a half foot wide dirt track featuring some fun terrain for more robust vehicles. From the intersection, you can take another turn down a 67 foot straightaway leading to the discombobulator. The discombobulator is an eight foot gas powered turntable which spins at about 71 RPM designed to disorient your robot on its path. You can jump the discombobulator, but you risk landing in the ball pit of despair, which is essentially a kiddie pool filled with plastic balls. Landing in the ball pit will end your run. If you don't feel up to tackling the discombobulator, you can take the easier, longer path that might cost you some more time, but it'll be easier for your bot to navigate. So the first section is a 58 foot straightaway where you will find a green hoop, and you can get some points for going through the hoop, and we'll talk about that at the very end. From there, you take a right turn onto another 67-foot length straightaway. At the end of that straightaway, you will find one more right turn onto yet another 58-foot length of straightaway, which will lead you to the intersection where the discombobulator is located. Now, you won't have to go to the discombobulator, you won't have to navigate it, but you will find an optional ramp on that 58-foot length, and you can get some points for going over that. There are a pair of hairpin turns breaking up the last straightaway. From there, all you have to do is make the last 25 feet and you're on the home stretch. Point structure is as follows. Each vehicle starts with 300 points. One point is decremented per second that you are on the track and you have not finished. If you choose to take the dirt path, you get a time bonus of 50 points. If you navigate the green hoop, you get plus 10 points. If you manage to go over the ramp, you get 10 points. If you successfully navigate the discombobulator, you get 50 points. Now we've broken that up a little bit. If you only get up the ramp to the discombobulator, you get 10 points for effort. So we're trying to be nice about it. And of course, if you get to the finish line, you get a bonus of 50 points. This year there will be three classes separated by weight. The lightweight class is anything less than 10 pounds. The welterweight class is anything between 10 and 25 pounds and the heavyweight class is anything between 25 and 40 pounds. Competitor registration cutoff date is August 1st. So we'll see you here Saturday, September 17th for the eighth annual Spark Fun Autonomous Vehicle Competition here at RHQ in sunny Boulder, Colorado. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.